This video has been sponsored by NVIDIA Studio and PC Specialist. Link in the description. If you're anything like me, then you get about 1 billion meme recommendations in your YouTube feed every day. If you're even more like me, then you're probably watching these memes and thinking, hey, I can make these easily. 1 million views. If this is you, then you're in the right place, my friend. Because today we're gonna add a new string to our bow. That's right, we're gonna be looking at how we can make rotoscoped memes. Those ones that you see everywhere. You're gonna be famous by the end of this video. You're welcome. Thank you so much once again to the people over at PC Specialist and NVIDIA Studio for sponsoring this five part editing series. All five of these videos have been made possible because of them. So hang around till later where I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about how they can help you as a content creator. Okay, okay. So you've seen this kind of meme before, right? Personally, I love them. I think they're fun, they're simple, and they're really easy to watch. However, making this kind of meme to a good standard, that is not as fun, simple, and easy to do. So to make these kinds of memes, we've got a few options. And don't worry about it, I'm gonna dictate these to you in a funny haha <laughs> way. So we have Premiere, which is the powerhouse of all editing, except rotoscoping. That's not included. Then we've got After Effects, which is the powerhouse of rotoscoping but not editing. So let's start with Premiere. You can't rotoscope in Premiere. But we can mask in Premiere Pro, which, you know, will, it'll, it'll get you something like this. Naughty, naughty. You know, if you're wanting to do something really quick and you want a rush job, you don't need it to look that good, then Premiere is probably a good option. So let's just run through that real quick and see what that looks like. All you have to do on your clip is create a mask and then draw around your subject. And then once you click the keyframe on the mask path, you have to just go frame by frame and change those points to create a mask animation. But hey, listen, if you have After Effects, then don't do that. Because I'm going to show you a way which is just going to make your life a lot easier. Here we go, baby. We're in After Effects. Look at this. Look at this place. There's... I'm confused. Rotoscoping in After Effects is pretty damn easy these days. In a previous life, a long time ago, I talked about rotoscoping in After Effects and how you could use that to help your edits. And literally on the same week that I released that video, they also released Rotoscope 2.0, which is just infinitely better than the one I used before. So, let's get started. Okay, so once you've got your clip in Premiere Pro, you're gonna wanna drag a section of that into the timeline. Then you're gonna right click on that clip and select scene edit detection. What this does is find where all the cuts are in the clip and it makes them for you. It's really handy. So assuming that you've got After Effects ready to go, then you're gonna highlight all of those clips together and then right click and then link the composition. When you're in After Effects, you've got to double click on that top layer there, which will take us into layer view and then select the rotor brush tool. First thing you're gonna do is color in your character. Now, you can change the brush sizes just by holding down control and then click and dragging. You can also toggle on the subtraction brush just by holding down alt. Essentially, you just want this purple outline to fill out what you want in the frame. Then once you're happy with that first frame, you've got to just press spacebar and pray to the gods that After Effects will do the rest well. About 99% of the time, it's gonna lose its way. Uh, so you're gonna have to use the page up and page down keys to go through frame by frame sometimes and fix up After Effects mistakes. But it's not too bad just because After Effects is quite intuitive to use. All right, so look at that. We got our first clip done. Now we just have to do the same thing with the other three clips remaining. It takes a little bit of time, but it's so worth it when it's done. <laughs> Head back into Premiere, drag the link composition up by one track, and then create a color mat. Set that color mat to a bright neon green. Then place that right below the linked composition. Essentially what we're doing here is just creating our own green screen. So, render that out separately, and then bring that file into your project. When I put this file in, I get rid of the link composition just to save up on RAM space. After that, apply the ultra key effect and then select the green in the background. And then bam, you've got a pre-baked rotoscope ready to be set onto a background of your choosing. You win. So now you've got the fun stuff to do. You've got to come up with a background that's creative and tells a funny joke about this character that you're putting in there. I see so many with this Borat clip where he's just rolling on the back of the bed and someone's put him into like a Minecraft bed and it's great. That's really good. This Borat clip in particular actually has a green screen ready to download on YouTube. So you can just use that instead of rotoscoping. But hey, 
at least we've learned how to make one for yourself, just in case there isn't a green screen available. So if you're wondering how I got this background to match the characters that are in the scene, it's just a lot of trying and failing at being in a game and trying to get the same kind of angle and things like this. It's really hard to do, but when it works, and the way I did this one was literally just by eyeballing it. I didn't do any kind of tracking technique, I just eyeballed it. So let's have a look at what we've made today. Bullshit. Bullshit. Derivative. That I love, I absolutely love. Once upon a time, I had a PC that really struggled with having Premiere Pro and After Effects open at the same time, which is unfortunately what you need to do a lot of the time when you're linking between compositions. It was a pain in the ass, man. And that is why the sponsor for this five part editing series is so special to me. It's because it actually fixes a lot of these problems that I've had for such a long time. And I really love the idea of telling you guys about something that I genuinely believe can actually help you. So sponsor segment. <laughs> Just take it from me, rotoscoping even with 2.0 enabled is a piece of work. In DaVinci Resolve there is actually a very similar technique implemented called Magic Mask. This is an NVIDIA accelerated effect powered by Neural Network AI. Whew. Jeez. I've used it in testing for this video and even though it wasn't my choice for this particular tutorial because I don't know it well enough. It definitely has the potential to be the next rotoscope champion. Now with effects like this, on a non-RTX studio system, you'd have to compromise in playback quality, resolution, and smoothness. As a creator, I can tell you that this is one of the worst things that you can experience in software. <sighs> so when I used Magic Mask for the first time in DaVinci Resolve on 4K footage using my NVIDIA Studio certified system, I was honestly blown away by the speed and the smoothness of the playback. This is exactly what it should be like to edit for creators, which is why you'll find in the description a link to PC Specialist RTX Studio System customization page in which you can browse many of the NVIDIA Studio certified desktop systems made for creatives and you can customize them to your liking. Okay, well that was pretty okay. We made a, a fine meme. And now you have the power to make your own fine memes. Now get out of here. Um, and join us next week when we learn about the 3D effect, the 3D screen effect. You know the one I'm talking about? You know the one? The 3D screen effect. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly, so let's, yeah, stick around. So subscribe, like the video, but most importantly, Get out of here. Subscribe.